Hello everyone and welcome to our service for Family Praise for Mothering Sunday from Reverend Linda and Reverend Kareen. We're going to begin uh, with a greeting today which you may or may not know, I might do it twice. So it goes, the Lord be with you and also with you. Should we give them a chance to yes, do that? let's do that again. The Lord be with you and also with you. Fantastic. Well, as Linda's just said, today our family praise is for Mothering Sunday. And on Mothering Sunday, we often give thanks to God for our mothers and also our dads and grandparents and other people who care for us, because it's good to say thank you for those who look after us. So we're going to be thinking a little bit about what mums do for us and maybe hear a story from the Bible and also maybe think about something we could do, especially today, as a thank you to them, as something to say thank you to our mums for. Brilliant. OK, so I've got a reading from the Bible and of course um, it's a reading about uh, Jesus and his friends and mums and children. It's from Mark's Gospel and this is how it goes. Jesus had been talking all day long when a group of people with young children approached, asking Jesus to bless them. Some of the children clung to their mums, while others were playful and pestered Jesus for attention. Jesus' disciples were sure that this would be annoying for the weary preacher, and they began to shoo the children away. But Jesus stopped his friends. Let the children come to me, he, he said. After all, the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Jesus picked up the smallest child and let the others scramble onto his lap, blessing them all. Oh. That's a really good story, it is, isn't, isn't it? it? Isn't it wonderful? A really wonderful story. I want just a few. Yeah, that's lovely. That's super. Thank you for reading that. Well, I wonder, what do you like doing if you get a chance to go out for an outing? Do you like to go with your family to the park or for a walk somewhere or swimming or to the seaside? Sadly, play area in the, or the play area, but sadly our outings have been very limited in this last year when we've been in lockdown and we're not allowed to go very far. But I bet you've still been to really good places and had really fun days out with your mums and your dads and brothers and sisters. If you go out for a walk, does your mum pack a bag? I know I did when my children were little and I still do when we go out with the grandchildren. I'm, I'm a good, I was a good girl guide. I'm always very prepared. And so here I've got my bag. This is the bag I take when I go out for a walk somewhere. My goodness. So this is the sort of thing that I might have in my bag or your mum might have in your bag when she takes you out maybe to the park or to the woods to go for a walk. Should we have a look and see what's inside it? Oh, lots of things in here that you might need. If you're going out for a little bit and you get hot and thirsty, what might you want when you're out on your, on your outing? A big drink. So always carry a nice big drink, a bottle of drink in the bag. And also you might get hungry. I don't know whether you like things like rice crackers. Oh, keep you going. You need to keep your energy up, don't you? Then other things you might have, your mum might have in her bag to look after you is, oh, if it's going to be a sunny day, you need your sunscreen on to keep to protect you. I'm hoping that in the coming weeks we might need some of that. Definitely. On the other hand, it might rain. And just in case, you might need to take an umbrella. So to be really prepared in case it's raining as well as sunny. In a minute, you're going to need two bags. <laughs> oh, no, it all fits in my, my trusty bag. The chances are, if you go out for a walk and a play at the play area in the woods, you're going to get muddy hands. So you might need some baby wipes in order to clean your fingers before you have your snack. Oh, good idea. Of course, you might fall over and bang your knee or make yourself bleed on your hands. So a tube of antiseptic cream is always very useful as well. And of course, the thing we all carry around with us for an outing these days is hand sanitizer very important Sadly, so those are the things that i take when i go out with my grandchildren and i'm sure your mums and dads maybe take some of something similar because at the end of the day mums know what their children need 
to keep them healthy and happy and safe. Not just for a day out, but for all time. Sometimes it's not very easy to do that though. Sometimes mums are struggling for money and it's not always easy to, to go out and buy things and, and maybe have an ice cream out. And sometimes children have got lots of questions and mums or dads don't always have all the answers and that can be hard. Yeah, it can be very difficult questions. It can, it can, they can be. And sometimes mums and dads and other people who care for you work really, really hard and might sometimes run out of energy. It's not always easy being a parent, but they always want what's best for the children to keep them happy and healthy and safe. And in that Bible story that Linda read to us, we heard about some mums and maybe some dads also who knew that the best thing they could do for their children to grow up being happy and healthy and safe was to meet Jesus. So they took them on, they took their children on an outing to meet him. Some of Jesus's friends weren't that sure about it. They thought the children might be a bit of a bother to Jesus. But you know what? that wasn't the case. Jesus welcomed the children and they gave them a cuddle and he was so pleased to welcome them and make them feel very special. And that's what the mums wanted most for their children, to keep them safe, to know that they were loved by both mums and dads and by Jesus. Fantastic. What well, wonderful love that is. Isn't that it? is. Yeah, that's really good. So, because our mums and our dads and everybody else who looks after us, but particularly today we're thinking about mums and our mummies, because they do so much for us, sometimes it's really nice to be able to say thank you in a special way. Yeah, not just normally, but a proper big a thank A proper big thank you to sort of say, yes, mummy, I know how much you do for me and I really appreciate that. And so I wondered, one of the things you might be able to do at home or wherever you are at the moment is to make a card or maybe um, a card you can open or maybe just a flat card. And I was thinking about what do we use to do things for other people? We use our hands. So I thought one of the things you might like to do is to get a piece of card, and I've got a piece of green card here, and I folded it in half to make it like a greetings card. And I'm going to draw around my hand. So here's my big green pen. And if I was really clever, I could have a camera pointing at my hand, but I can't while I'm drawing it. So I'm going to quickly draw around my hand. There, I've got very big fingers and they only just fit on this piece of card. There, that's my hand. And what you could do when you've drawn your hand on your card, you might want to decorate it. And then maybe on the inside, you could write, Dear Mum, thank you for being my mum. And I'm going to help by... And then you have to think of something you might help your mum. So what sort of things could, could children do to help their mums to say thank you? Tidy up the toys. Tidy up the toys. That's a really good one. Or help maybe lay the table for dinner. Or put away my clothes and not just drop them on the floor. Good one. All sorts of things that you could do for your mums as a way of saying thank you. And you might make it as a card and do the writing on the inside. Or if you're really good at cutting, you might just cut round it, draw your hand and cut round it. And you could write your mummy's name on one side, say mum on that side. And on the other side, put what you're going to do, help clear up. And then you could give your mum your hand. Offering a real helping hand. Offering a helping hand to say thank you, mummy, for all the things you do for me. That's amazing. I think that'd That's be a really nice idea. thing to do. I might yeah. finish mine off when we finish yes. the family praise. You'll have your own ideas about how you can help, particularly, won't you, as well? That's wonderful. So thinking about that, um, we're going to have a prayer, it's a bit of an activity, and um, we're going to think about all the things that mums do for us. Well, not all of them, because that would take far too long. <laughs> uh, but I've got some ideas about what mums do for us. Uh, and you might have other ideas as well. 
So I've got a few uh, things to help here. I've got my bag as well. Your bag as well, a big shopping right. bag. Shall I hold it for you? Uh, I think I've got okay. Some things okay. To okay. Okay. So what do mums do to help us? There we go. Can we see that one? They wash the clothes. That's a really helpful yeah, thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> it does get a bit sticky. Yeah, they wash that clothes and iron them and look after them as well. And they do nice things too as well. <gasps> Reading, Reading stories. stories. I don't know if you can see. That's the one about Jonah and the whale. That's one of my favourite Bible stories. I like that story I too. I used to love it when people read me stories. Another book one. Sometimes... They help us with our schoolwork, with our homework. And over the last couple of months, I should think there have been a lot of mums helping with homework yeah. and schoolwork. Well done, because all the children have been, most of the children have been doing their study, their schoolwork at home. Yeah, so. so well done, mums, these teachers as well. Very important. Oh, Lovely meals that make oh, where would we be without that? To see friends, to church, to all sorts of places, swimming lessons, whatever it is. Taxi, the taxi of mum and the taxi of mum and dad, hey, really important thing that mum and dads do for us. Even if they haven't been doing it much recently, I'm sure in the coming months oh, they'll yes. probably be using the car I'm a lot sure. more. <laughs> Sometimes there are times when we fall over and we hurt ourselves. And as you said, mums are there for us, aren't they? We say thank you for the fact that they look after us when we're injured and hurt as well. Just a bit sooner than the plaster on there. Absolutely. Can you see my screwdriver? My special screwdriver. Mums are very versatile and have lots of skills and talents. And often, well, we break things. And mums are just really great at fixing them, they aren't are. they? they? So are. many different skills they've got. I haven't got many things left in here. Sometimes we just don't feel very well. And we get a kiss and a cuddle and some medicine. Mum's always got that to hand as well, just in case. I've said lots of things, haven't I? How mums help us and things we can say thank you for. And you might be able to think of lots more things uh, that mums do for us and do for you as well. But maybe it all comes under one kind of big heading because what mum does is she loves us. Even when we're not very good mm. and sometimes when we get it wrong and sometimes when we're sad because we've got it wrong. Whatever we do, mum keeps on loving us. Just like Jesus loved the children in the story what, and loved his disciples and his friends, even though they didn't always get it right. Mum's love for us is enormous. It's great. It's always there. And God's love for us is remarkably and unbelievably even bigger than that. So thank you God for all that mums do for us. Mm, all those many many different things and we're going to round our thoughts and prayers together by saying the prayer that Jesus gave us. Uh, join in if you can really. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We're going to have a song. And the song is Jesus Love is Very Wonderful. And it's got actions that you can join in with and you can join in with the singing as well because it keeps repeating and I'm sure you'll pick it up. So let's sing.
feel special. And so we're going to close by saying our messy church grace. And we'll do it once through. I'll say it the words and we'll both do the actions and then we'll say it together so you can all join in. But just as a quick reminder, it goes like this. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Should we try that again? And everybody hopefully will be able to join in. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Bye.